Okay, what we have here is Doom. This was a DOS game released for the PC back in 1993, and it was one of the first examples of a first-person shooter, and in, it was the first game that, this was a game that popularized the concept. Now, if you're looking at it, this is obviously very different from what you know in today's world as a first-person shooter. The character moves around a lot quicker. The graphics are very simple. You're the controls are horrible, there's no mouse support, and in, although the game looks like a 3D game, it is actually represented uh, as it looks like a 3D game, but it is in reality and actually a 2D game. The vertical access that we're looking here is virtual, it doesn't really exist, there's no up and down, it's just forward, back, left, and right. But overall, I mean, it was a pretty good game even if it was a tad frustrating and was really made to be difficult. But, uh, it's classic. Well, okay, here we are. Once you reach the exit door, it's basically the same thing on every level. You may need a key to open it. But you go hit this elevator switch, and it's the end of the level. So, BAM! Friday the 13th. Trademark. This game was made in 1988. Uh, I didn't see who it was made by, and who really gives a crap. Use a torch to light the fireplaces. Now this is a game you're going to be playing as one of, or maybe all six, of these teenagers that are... I guess this is supposed to be Crystal Lake, because that's the name of the lake in Friday the 13th series. And you run around throwing rocks at zombies. Now, it seems a little bit weird, because in Night of the... Or Night of the Living Dead had zombies, but, uh... Friday the 13th did not have zombies. In Friday the 13th, you're running around being chased by a psychotic murderer named Jason Voorhees. And for some reason, if you are wondering why I was opening and closing the map a bunch of times, it's because I'm trying to tell where I am. This dumbass game doesn't really give you the ability to tell which direction you're going unless you take a few steps and go check your position on the map. So it's a real pain in the ass. The game is also... Uh, this game is just really stupid. Oh, jeez, has not moved on the map yet. Okay, now I know I'm heading the right way. Now, I'm heading to this house with another survivor, and it, it's supposed to have Jason, or he's in there somewhere. Oh, thank you. Hmm, don't mention it. Just saying this is one of the most frustrating games ever. Where is Jason, anyway? Oh, there he is. Okay, shows up. We gotta go stick him with a bunch of knives, or... Hit him with a bunch of rocks until he's dead. There we go, he's dead. And you know what? Let's, uh... Get the hell out of this one. There isn't really a first level for that. You just have to defeat Jason a bunch of times and light fireplaces. That's it. Ugh, drive me nuts. The Adventures of Bayou Billy. 1989 by Konami. The Adventures of Bayou Billy. Oh, cool. Backstory. But let's just get on with this. That's a side scroller game. You can go up and down a little bit, and you can do some, you can punch, you can kick, and you can do these sort of jump kicks. And if you want to survive this game, I'd recommend you do nothing but use the jump kicks. Also, if you can find a weapon, that'd be great. There are guns, there are sticks, there are rocks, there are knives, but you're not going to see too many of them that often. Oh, jeez. It's really frustrating because it's difficult to avoid getting hit by these guys. And it shows you another example of how far games have gone. Because if you can compare this to, say, Streets of Rage, which was a vastly superior game, but same concept. <laughs> these guys don't seem to be too intent on doing any harm. Just running around. Oh, he dropped a chicken leg. You eat the chicken leg, and it restores your health. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this is chaotic. Oh, one's down. Oh, kicked him in the nuts and he fell. Should've just done that to begin with. Oh, he's down. Okay, oh, birds. Took one down, but... Watch out, that gate is in there. Oh, birds. Kicked it out of the sky. Okay, there's some guys up here. Throwing rocks. I think one of them is stick. There we go. Stick. Use the stick. Beat him with a stick. Yeah, they'll throw rocks at you. You can't use the rocks yourself, but they'll hit you with rocks. Oh, I'm dead. Alright, fuck it. <laughs> 